Hey guys, Crewman here, and a lot of people ask me to do more CMP 170HX content as I picked up two a while ago, and they asked me where I got them from. I couldn't really do much with these two in terms of sharing where I got them from because they sold out of a guy, I guess, who just liquidated in his farm, sold them quickly. I picked these three up, and now I'm going to test them. We're going to put them into the Octaminer that PCSP so kindly sent us. We're going to put all five of these in a rig, uh, and I will be adding one more. And in this video, I want to show you how I build this, and then I want to show you what these babies can do. If you like this video or any of the content I, I have, please hit that sub button right there, and you can also become a member as well. It goes to help the channel. I do a lot of great content on mining, gaming, and everything in between. I'm trying to hit 4,000 subs. So thank you so much, and let's get back to the video. Now you may ask, be asking, what are these? Well, these are mining-specific cards. Uh, during the ETH merge, these things were the best. They were actually the, um, the highest-end Ethereum mining graphics card you could get and they went for quite a pretty penny and obviously those days are gone they are definitely different than your standard graphics card you can see a they have no fans they need to be passively cooled in a server case b they have no hdmi outs or anything uh, and they cannot be used to game on so i just want to make that clear these things are mining specific only and honestly they're really only good at memory algorithms they don't really do too much in terms of core algorithms. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before we go ahead. And they also use a different connector. They use an 8-pin to two 8-pins. So you want to make sure that you just don't try to power this by a, a single normal 8-pin or you will fry it. Let's get to building. So the plan for this Octominer is to hold six 170HXs. Now the reason that I say six, and I don't know if you guys see the way they fit, it's actually kind of tight, but kind of not. Do you guys see that right there? They basically, you have to really kind of, I'm going to have to zip tie the uh, plugs so that they don't get caught in the fan grills, or I might actually just install fan grills on this side i actually might do that real quick just to be on the safe side these do fit but they do present a close fit let me go get some fan grills all right so one thing i just did off camera is i put fan grills these are older fan grills on this side of the case because the 170 hx's were getting pretty close to the edge so i put i'm going to put them on every other right so I put it in, and it was getting really close to touching the fan. I don't know if you can see it, so we'll just move the camera real quick. So I didn't want it to catch into the fan, so I just put some fan grills in, and it's going to fix my problems. Now you can buy those. I'll put an Amazon link for them if you want. Uh, to be fair, even the newer Octo Miners don't come with them, so that's something that I'm not too upset about that I had to do that so we're gonna go ahead and install all of the 170 HX's and like I said uh, I'm basically just talking while I install them real quick to give you an idea what my plan is I want to put two of the the um, the C, the plugs two of the eight pins per 170 HX and I don't really want to swap out the power supplies on these. So I feel like I'm just going to um, just put six in because six at, you know, six of these will use probably like 1200 watts max. So I should be fine with 1800 watt power with three 750s. Um, Frankly, and I also want to make sure that I don't have any issues cooling them. I don't think I will because I've already been running two of them in another Octo Miner. But, you know, you just want to be, you want to make sure. So for now, I'm just going to space them uh, every, basically kind of like every other. So I have five of these, as I've already said, and I plan on getting at least one more, probably more. It really just depends on how everything goes. You know, I'm, I'm. The channel's doing better, which is really good, and I'm beyond appreciative of the opportunities that this channel's been given. 
but at the same point I don't really have a lot of spare income for crypto mining equipment I basically sold I used a mix of YouTube profits and selling some older GPUs to cover this I still have a few 3060s that I'm looking to sell 3060 TIs uh, I don't know how many I think at least uh, at least three, maybe more, but you know we'll we'll see. Um, so we're just getting these in. It is a very look. I definitely would not put these in without fan grills or moving the fans to the outside. The fan grills just seemed easier, and frankly, they're so cheap on Amazon. Or you could just probably find them from people trashing old Bitcoin miners. I harvested mine off of. Uh, some T-17s that someone gave me as a joke, and I, I'm probably just going to dispose of them. I don't think they're worth selling. Um, I might list them just to see. So I'm putting the fifth one in, and then I'm going to put one more where the control board is. Honestly, I might. Like, these can fit next to each other, so maybe I might not put one on where the control board is. I don't know yet. Um... We're going to just run these five in here for now. As I've already said to anybody who will listen, as of now, these are the only GPUs that I will be buying for crypto mining. I do not think any of the any other models, frankly, are worth it right now. So we're going to power these. So I'm basically using, so for this OctoMiner from PCSP, Every one of the eight pins is, is its own eight pin, and I really want to be super safe, so I want to do two eight pins per one. One seventy HX. Some people will tell you that you don't need to. I, you know, I don't operate that way. Uh, I would not recommend doing one of these per one seventy HX. And honestly, for how much these cases cost and how many there are, <laughs> you could definitely just put six in a case and be fine. Now, if you you know, it all comes down to, I guess, space and time versus money. Like, if you just want to buy these the way they are, although now I think they come with two 1200 waters, which means that you could just slot in a third 1200 watt and you would be golden. Sorry, just trying to make sure I didn't have these wires wrong. Anyway, instead of redoing the, wi the wiring in here with, like, stronger wiring, I think you're just better off just buying. I mean, I don't know. It depends on you. It depends on how much it's going to cost you. To set up this Octo Miner to be able to handle six 170 HXs, or I'm sorry, um, 12 of them. Um, a, I don't know how they would cool 12 because I don't know how any Octo Miner would cool 12, so that's why I'm just doing six first. It looks like I don't need to zip. So the, the other good thing is I don't need to zip tie these because there's no fans. I, I'm just really going to slot them in. I've got the, I'm going to put the bar back in. But what I was saying is I need to see how these cool six of them before I can, like, if you ask me if you could put 12 in. I'm sure people have already experimented with it, and I'd love to hear your results, but I'm only going to do six at first. And, you know, if it looks like these can cool six, no problem, maybe I would try 12. Obviously, though, here's the thing. If you do 12, you need better wires in here. I don't know. Uh, you would need stronger AWG wires, like a stronger gauge. So I don't know how much that would cost to put in here. Um, and then you would also uh, need to add another 1250 watt power supply because you definitely would need three. Because you're, you know, right now this is, actually you probably would need a higher grade. Hold on, so it would be two, four, six, eight, ten. It would be 12, 2400 watts. No, you could do. 336 or 31200 watts would be fine in here plus the power you could probably do 12 honestly the wires are the biggest concern for me as of now uh, i would want higher awg wires and i will look into that maybe in a future video uh, i'm definitely gonna try to acquire more of these cases uh, just like the other octa miners remember you got just kind of got to think of this thing as an x8 uh, and another reason I want, I don't want to mix, I was mixing the 170 HXs with other GPUs. I don't want to do that. I really, really, really dislike mixing GPUs. All right, so the, it's sealed up. You can 
you can see what they look like. Let me let me take this off the tripod. You can see the spacing. I don't think it'll be an issue, but I won't know honestly until I turn them on. All right. So, well, it it's done. We're gonna go ahead and deploy this, and I will come back with an update. So I don't know if you guys know if you guys noticed, but I did turn off my hosting client. Recruitman Hosting has closed. I needed his circuit, and with my potential rate hike, it just wasn't worth it for him to host anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put my 170HXs right here. Uh, it should give them sufficient room, and I definitely plan on putting some more next to them, but they'll also be on their own circuit, so I can definitely go ahead and test their power usage and make sure the Octominer reports the correct power usage. So let's get set up. Okay, so here is what they look like deployed. Everything looks good. As you can see, the PCSP server case does have Octominer integration, which is fantastic. But I want to point out right up here, you can see the red BIOS and the orange BIOS. They're two separate BIOSes. Now, let me show you the difference because there is one. You can see here, this is what they get on iron. This is how you can kind of tell which BIOS is better. Now, I actually got the second BIOS from the person, like it was on the GPUs that I bought from the second purchase so i i did save that and i do have that bios on my discord if anybody needs it i have it pinned so you can feel free to join and go ahead and grab it and i'll put a link down below for the discord but that's where the 170hx really gets its profitability because if you look at say hashrate.no for example you can see that hashrate.no is using the uh hash rate of 100 and nine mega hash right here 108.37 which is the stock bios so obviously let's plug uh, mine are doing better as you can see they were doing 127 so let's plug that into the calculator so if we plug 127 at about 210 watts which is what they're getting and i'll show you that in one second you can see that these are really making 67 cents a day when hashrate.no shows the 170HX only making 53 cents a day. So that is a huge difference in performance. You're talking you're talking an almost 20% difference in profitability off of just a BIOS alone. Now remember, they have to be the CMP100 170HXs you buy, they have to be the 8 gigabit version. Do not buy the 10 gigabit version because they cannot take this BIOS. Now I'm guessing that these were cards that were purchased directly from NVIDIA during the ETH bull run and had this quote unquote secret BIOS and now that they're not worth nearly as much, they're just being sold overseas with the stock, with the secret BIOS on them. So I mean that's our benefit, that's for our benefit as miners. Now I want to go ahead and show you here the temperature in my shed. This is the morning of filming this video. It's 94 and 86 degrees in different parts of the shed. And you can see the miners are cool are cool at the low to mid 60s and the memory is cool as well. And it is 80 degrees outside. So I am pretty happy with the way that Octominer is cooling those five GPUs. Now the next thing I want to show you is the power consumption you can see what the power consumption at the software and now you can see the plugs from my octominer going to a pmd going right to the circuit and you can see the circuit says uh 1500 or 1250 watts ish give or take you know it, it bounces but then you look over at the picture and it says 1.52 kilowatts so as you can see the octominer is accurate which is amazing because it has complete octo integration just like the newer versions of octo miners and i'm glad i was able to test that out now you can see that i flashed all of the octo miners or all of the uh, 170hx's to the 0a bios and you can see i'm getting 127.5 mega hash on iron at between 210 to 220 watts at the wall or at the software i mean next you can see what i'm getting on zealous I'm getting about 380, give or take, kilohash at between 150 to 170 watts. Now the power tends to jump, and I did not, I didn't go crazy on the overclocks on these. I kind of, with Zealous, it's kind of better, at least for the 170HXs, to kind of set them card by card. But I'm not mining Zealous right now, I'm, I'm mining Ironfish. So I kind of just wanted to show you what they can do, and 380 is very, very solid. So here's what they do on Ergo, which is what a lot of people mostly were mining with these before Fish Hash came out. 
and you can see the profitability numbers on ergo right now which aren't the worst especially if you compare them to other gpus but let's look at when i plug in my hash because my hash is definitely better than what they're getting you're looking at about another seven cents profit so about like a 25 ish percent more increase with the updated bios as well all right so that's it for the 170hx i i have to say it is for me for now the only gpu i will buy for mining now that doesn't mean i would sell my whole farm and just have these i i would like to get more of these and less of say 3070s as i think these are gangbusters and i really 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 like them now you have to either have a server case or be willing to buy the server fan shrouds you can get them on ebay to cool them or have like a dedicated setup like me where these are in a server case and i have a shed and they're still they're not the coolest. I mean, it is summer. So these may not be for everybody. And it also really just depends on how much you believe in memory intensive algorithms. Uh, I personally think that, you know, I like core algorithms, but I definitely think I'd rather be hedging my bets on memory algorithms right now. now obviously, this could change, right? And right now I have five. And I think the goal would be for me to at least have two six card rigs. So we'll see. As far as where I got these from, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I always said I would be transparent. I am not totally ready to share where I got these from yet as I need to play with these cards a little bit longer. Um, and it's not the most, I, I got them from overseas, first of all. So you kind of have to be willing to, um, you know, play that overseas game. And, it, it, you know, it's it's not something I totally feel comfortable recommending yet in mass. Uh, if you want to DM me, we can, you know, we can talk about it and go from there. So anyway... Here are the 170 HXs. I think if you were looking to buy these like on eBay or anything, I think if you get these for anywhere around $500, I definitely think that they're worth it for $500 or less. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. These GPUs are going to make me rethink that if I want to buy the RTX 50 series for mining. So thank you guys again for watching this video. Uh, I know I promised it for a long time, but I'm really, really excited to share it with you. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And please hit the like and subscribe button if you like this content. The March to 4000 continues. Take care, guys. Crew man, out.